if you want to be a dummy and say stuff like that, all you have to do is go on my YouTube channel and look at my lifestyle every single day. You can clearly see me traveling all the time. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So Chris is on it again, right? I didn't want to have to make this video in the um, in the words of Chris and Sarah. I, I didn't want to have to do this, but I felt the need to respond because Chris has um, come up with some absolute legendary statements and he's done us a little number two rant. <laughs> He's done it from the bathroom, sat on the toilet. Brilliant, brilliant. Yeah, we've got a house full of people right now, so I thought I'd just escape to my ensuite and have a chat to you guys. I fam, if you didn't think yourself lucky to have this guy in your life, you, <laughs> you now know that you are so fortunate to have him talk to you whilst he sat on the toilet, right? He is like... <laughs> He's got things to say and he can't wait. Can't wait, right? <laughs> Just don't listen if there's any splashing, right? Because I always, I always get these comments, right? I always get these comments from dummies that say this, this exact phrase. Oh, if you're so rich and you've got all this money, why do you push this? Why are you pushing? So this is the comment which he's referring to. This person said, genuine question, but if you're rich like you keep claiming, then why are you working all these hours promoting not having to work? And why don't you put 50 pence in the meter to finally have a wash and buy new clothes instead of wearing the same ones day in and day out? And take those older three girls to the dentist that you promised them two years ago. Even maybe give something back to the iFam like you used to many years before before you started scamming the vulnerable took priority. Maybe pay for your lazy wife to have cleaning lessons. As I said, genuine question. <laughs> I love the way they rendered that with definitely a genuine question. <laughs> right. Um, question though, Chris, if this is the one that you're referring to, right, why are you only choosing to respond to the fact that he is or they are calling you broke, right? They are saying if you haven't got the money, that, if you have the money that you say that you have, then why do you need to work? Whereas in the rest of the comment, there's quite a few things that you should really take priority over responding to, such as um, comments about your kids, comments about your wife, <laughs> and yet you choose to to um, back up you being not a brokey. Yeah, uh, it feels like that that was more more important to you than um, you know people talking about your children. Or about your wife, right? It feels like that you you um, kind of prioritise yourself <laughs> over um, those that should matter to you more. This course, I'm pushing this and pushing that. Clearly, you're lying about whatever you've got and blah blah blah. All right, number one, I don't need to lie. I don't need to justify or explain how much money I have in the bank to anybody. Well, Christopher, um, I hate to be the one to break this to you, but you kind of do. <laughs> you actually do. You are selling the fact that you have all this money to people, right? That is your whole business, right? You are saying, I have this amount of money because I've done this, this, and this. Here is how you can replicate what I have done to make the same amount of money. So if you're saying that you have this amount of money due to you working and doing all this crap right and you expect people to believe that you have that amount of money you kind of actually have to back it up that you have that amount of money otherwise it's just words you saying that you know you got to buy my course and i'll tell you how to make this amount of money when you may or may not have that amount of money do you see where i'm coming from on this one christopher because it's very important when you're in a financially driven financial business that you are claiming to be in if you want to be a dummy and say stuff like that all you have to do is go on my youtube channel and look at my lifestyle every single day you can clearly see me traveling all the time i really don't get where you're coming from on this one either because your lifestyle does not smack of rich right it does not smack of we have lots and lots of money because you're constantly 
saving money on unnecessary aspects right so for example you'll go out for the day and all your children will share one drink between them which is ridiculous don't you think i don't care what you say um oh they don't want a drink of course if we want a drink especially in the hot weather right and then you know your kids sharing a a box of chips between them and things like that right you see where I'm, where I'm coming from it does not smack of we are rich right i get that not all rich people need to flash their cash they don't need to spend on this that and the other to prove that they're rich right but when you have the money there's no need to prevent your children from having like basic necessities like food and things like that right buying this buying that my wife going out shopping every single day uh, i can't just magic money out of thin air for that to happen no <laughs> no christopher um your wife going out shopping every single day to b and m and and home bargains does not really prove does not prove at all that you uh, you have money right it doesn't it doesn't prove a single thing what it proves if anything is that you don't have money because she only shops at home bargains and b&ms so that's kind of the opposite of what you're trying to portray here now i'm not saying again i get it right i get it not everybody has to shop at rich places just because they got lots and lots of money you know you can shop wherever you want to shop to but what it doesn't do is it does not prove that you have money because she shops at b&ms at all she's notorious for not spending money and that is the thing when you say that it proves that we we have lots of money because she spends well she doesn't spend lots of money she goes to all these shops every single day and then she will not buy anything full price anything and again you know that could be her upbringing it could be that she doesn't want to spend lots of money but then again when she had money you know back in the day um when your youtube channel was doing pretty well you know i think you spent quite a lot of money didn't you 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 went like on all these trips and everything and you did kind of flash the cash a lot but now you, you don't Have you change your mindset is it you know i'm not getting all this for free you know i'm paying for that somehow so let's just number one stop being a dummy like just go look at my youtube channel and then you can just answer your own question and number two he said number two he sat on the toilet and he said number two <laughs> i'm sorry but yeah it is appropriate um <laughs> it's not... sorry sorry chris continue please this is the a perfect example of the brokey mentality and the reason why every single person commenting something stupid like that is never going to go anywhere in life and never going to they're never going to be rich they're never going to have money themselves because they won't buy your course or copy what you are doing on a daily basis um i mean a lot of the people that do watch you are not necessarily broke right I get that impression from the things that I read from people and you know you can't judge a book by its cover Chris just because you have rich just because you have let's just say we have millions in the bank right if you've got a hundred million in the bank let's just take Elon Musk for example 260 billion in the bank oh good now he's um, comparing himself to Elon Musk he has finally lost the plot do you see yourself as this um, huge, like, inspirational figure? I'm not saying Elon Musk is inspirational in the, in the slightest, by the way. I think he's, he's probably about as crazy as Chris. But anyway, um, to compare yourself to somebody of that stature, Christopher, you must be a little bit insane. Right. Is he still working? Uh, oh, yeah, he is, isn't he? He's still building rockets. He's still building cars. Well, I don't know, Chris. He spends an awful lot of time arguing with um, 
kids on Twitter to uh, to be effectively working. But the thing is, I think that he's already made his money. He um, has all these businesses and he has a lot of people working for him in order to continue making his money. He actually doesn't need to work necessarily. Um, so I'm not quite sure that actually backs up your point really, does it? He's still in this and still in that and doing everything he can do still to earn money. Because that's the difference between a broken mentality and somebody who has money mentality and who knows the value of money is that you never want to stop earning it. There's never a, there's never a point where you get to where you're like, oh yeah, I've earned enough now, I'm just going to quit. You're actually spot on, Chris. You are actually spot on. No matter what you say or what anybody else says, you are right. You know, when you have the mentality of you want to earn money, you just want to keep earning money, right? If you stop, then that income stops, etc. However, the problem here is, Chris, that you are not earning the, the money which you're claiming to be earning, right? You have some money. I'll give you that, right? Granted, you do have some money. I'm not entirely sure where exactly it's all come from. I mean, your YouTube channel still brings in a fair amount of views you know, across all the videos. I know that. So that probably does make for a bit of income right but you're not making the money that you're claiming to make from this course right you're selling the course that is the way you're making money out of the course it's not the contents of the course which you are selling it is the course itself which means that it's a load of shit right so basically when you sell the course other people to make money they don't have to read the course, they need to sell the course again. And people who buy the course off them have to sell the course again. You see where I'm coming from? It's kind of like a pyramid scheme, right? I know you think it's not, but that is actually what it is. Eventually the market gets too saturated and you'll never sell once you are at the bottom, right? That's not how it works. And the people that are like that are the people that will never be in money in the first place. Rich people are always looking for the next opportunity, always looking for the next way to make more money. Incidentally, Chris, you are so desperate to um, tell everybody this that you couldn't wait until your friends went home. You said you've got a house full of people, right? And yet you've <laughs> left them alone, you know? the great host that you are you've left them you've gone to the toilet to rant to, to people who think that you don't have money it feels like the broken lifestyle to me i'm sorry maybe your friends may have money and it's kind of shown you up for for who you are and you thought you know, i've got to go and uh, prove myself somehow so i'll go to instagram and i'll tell everybody else how much money i've got because uh, my you know my friends have have too much money for my likings mind you if it's uh, the friends i think they are then maybe they probably don't but anyway you know the sky's the limit why do you want to limit yourself there is not one single rich person out there that ever wants to stop working or is ever not looking for the next opportunity to make more money. It doesn't matter whether you get to this level, this level, or the very, very top Elon Musk level. People with the right mentality are always working and always trying to make more, always trying to do better, always trying to better themselves. And and at what point do you start trying to better yourself, Chris? Uh, I mean, I'm still waiting, you know. Uh, it's been quite a few years now since um, it all came out and everything. And you still haven't tried to improve yourself uh, since then. All I've done, all you've done uh, that I've seen is you just sort of running away to different countries where people don't know you, you know. And that's... Um, that's good for you. It's not good for your kids, obviously, but uh, if you want to do that, just do it on your own. Bugger off. Everybody will be happy, even your children. I'm, I'm sorry. They'll, they'll get over it <laughs> pretty quickly. Sarah will be thankful. I'm certain of that. That's just, how, that's just how it works. That's just how it works if you've got the right rich mindset, the rich mentality, and the right stuff up here to be able to pull this off and go far in life. Chris, when you point to your head and you say to pull this off, do you mean your beanie? 
because that's pretty much stuck where it is. I'm sorry, it's going to take a lot more than just a little bit of money to pull that thing off. And create yourself a future that is financially free. And if you don't have that, and you are one of them broke your mindset people that are like, oh, clearly don't have any money because you're still pushing this and pushing that, you're still working every day, you're still making YouTube videos, then you're the type of dummies that shouldn't be buying anything from me anyway. Funny you should mention dummies, Chris, because I hear that you've written a new book, right? Um, this one here, um, 10K a day for dummies. It feels like it's going to be a bestseller, in my opinion. So keep pushing that crap and you might find yourself in a rich vein of thought with a rich, uh, financially free future. You know, I think this could be a bestseller. Now, I'm thinking myself of writing a book, Chris Ingham for Dummies is a, is a good option, a good idea, I think. You know, where I tell everybody all about Chris Ingham and what he's all about. And, uh, you know, if you don't know what he's about, then, you know, I'll, I'll let you know. Um, if there's any other ideas of four Dummies books, Chris Ingham based, let me know in the comments down below. And I think... I'll see what I can do and get on onto it. And shouldn't be even attempting to take any course or any other way that's going to better your life because it's never going to work for you anyway. But if you're not one of those broken mindset people, then make sure you comment how on this video below and I'll send you the exact tools that you need to turn yourself into that rich mentality that you see yourself at or wish you were at right now. Will do, Christopher. Will do. I'll get right on to it, I'm sure. Right, but also, apart from all that that he posted, he also posted a couple of things trying to get people to buy his course, such as these. Constant notifications on your phone. I'm loving the fact that he's headlined this with cons because that's exactly what his course is and his um, entire lifestyle is. But I'm sure that this is on purpose, right? I'm sure that he's done that to grab people's attention. He's put cons here. His last one, he um, headlined it with scam. Um, it's just to get people's attention and try and sell his shit. But one thing also I liked about this particular screenshot here was um, his... his his hair i'm sorry i know i i'm better than that right i'm better than going on about his hair but it just kind of stood out to me because it's in like magnified and um yeah it, it looks nice it looks lovely chris like oh you made another sale or oh another 2500 deposited into your account today. he actually has no shame does he no shame whatsoever Showing a screenshot that he receives um, notifications on his phone when Andrew Tate has tweeted right, is very shameful, Christopher. It's very shameful. I know you think that Andrew Tate is like the god and everything else, but unfortunately he's not. He's a bit of a twat. He's a bit of a twat, mind you, so are you. So, therefore, you probably get on like a house on fire. But I'm thinking that... Um, he just wouldn't like your way of life. I think that even Andrew Tate, as bad as he is, would probably be embarrassed by you, Chris. How does that make you feel? How does it make you feel? Your God. <sighs> Have you seen how Andrew Tate actually inducts people into his his courses and stuff like that? You need to be tough, right? He will not accept you on one of his major like scam thingies right unless you can like fight him in a ring or something i'll have to dig that clip out because it's really really frightening but you you would have would you fight him in a ring would you do that chris would you fight anybody in the ring it's interesting. It's an interesting thought. Watch the program. Watch the documentary, Chris. I, I beg you. It's very interesting. I've made it into Andrew Tate's war room, where 100 of his biggest fans have flown in from all across the world, each paying $5,000 to have their manhood tested by the one they refer to as Commander. None of us know what he has in store. I welcome you all to the test. There is a cage fighting event and every single one of you has been paired against a professional fighter. You will fight in the cage, on national television, and it's a real fight. 
there are two paths you can go down. You can agree to fight, or you can decide that it's not for you. You have one hour to think and make a decision. Today makes it really hard to chill and relax sometimes. Digital Guide literally tells you exactly how to do it. So there is no excuses. If you have an ounce of determination and discipline. 50% off weekend sale only. Weekend only sale, even. So, his book, it is, his book. The Escape the Matrix book is 50% off this weekend. There you go, Christopher. You got a little bit of free promotion from me. All right. I'll accept my commission check in the mail. All right, you've, you've got my address. So, um, yeah. Or you can get the uh, 10K a day for dummies. <laughs> I think that would be a better option, wouldn't it? Anyway, all right, I think this is um, Chris just losing the plot ever so slightly. Um, please let me know all your thoughts in the comments down below, and I'll get right on to them. Until next time, have a brilliant day. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you are new. Until next time, have a brilliant weekend. Take care of yourselves and bye-bye.